हियर वी हैव द क्वेश्चन कॉस ऑफ एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू कॉस एक्स इंटू कॉस वाई माइनस साइन एक्स इंटू साइन वाई टू प्रूव दिस आइडेंटिटी इन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री वी हैव टू कंसिडर अ यूनिट सर्कल इन दिस सर्कल वील ड्रॉ द एक्सेस द एक्स एक्सेस एक्स एंड एक्स डैश वी कैन राइट दिस वन एंड द वाई एक्सेस वील कंसिडर ऑन द यूनिट सर्कल एमड एज वाई एंड वाई डैश इन दिस यूनिट सर्कल वील कंसिडर अ पॉइंट द सेकेंड क्वाड्रंट दैट इज पी एंड हियर वी हैव द ओरिजिन ओ जॉइन दिस पॉइंट टू द ओरिजिन वैन वी जॉइंट दिस पॉइंट to the origin we'll get an angle here the angle is considered as x this angle we'll consider here x and one more point we'll consider in the third quadrant that is c join this point also to the origin the angle for this is y here to here the angle we'll consider that is y the angle from x to the origin to c will get x plus y here to here the whole angle we can write x plus y together coordinates of point b are on unit circle will take cos and sin theta so it is cos x and sin x as our angle is x and the coordinate for the point b we can write sorry for the point c we can consider cos of x plus y and sin of x plus y as our angle is the sum of x and y it is x plus y one more point we'll consider in the third quadrant itself that is d and the angle for the point d is in the clockwise direction if we take the clockwise direction angle is negative minus y will take so the coordinate for point d will will get cos of minus y and sin of minus y cos minus y and sin minus y are the coordinate for the point d and for the point c cos x plus y sin x plus y cos x and sin x are the coordinates for the point b and here we have one more point a for point a we have the coordinate 1 as 0 because here we started our circle and here the degree is 0 and cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 now if we will join both the point here i will join a and c and b and d when we join together both the point a and c and b and d will get an angle that is observing here the center is o a o c and b o d two angles which we are getting here we are getting two angles first in this unit circle we considered the coordinate for the point a b c d and the angle is for angle a o b will get x and angle boc is boc is y we considered therefore angle aod will become as it is in clockwise direction minus y and last one angle aoc as we added both aoc will become here to here it is x plus y clearly we'll get the coordinate for each the point the coordinates are the coordinates of the point a are 1 and 0 as you are observing in the diagram and the coordinate for the point b are this cos x and sin x similarly for the coordinate for the point c is cos of x plus y and sin of x plus y the last one d has the coordinate as we got the negative angle for this we'll have cos of minus y and sin of minus y 
now we observe here we are getting here two triangles which are aoc and b and uh, bod the triangles the triangles aoc and bod are congruent both triangles are congruent do you know what you mean by congruency of a triangle congruent when both triangles are equal angle of aoc and bod are equal when we equate both angle aoc is equal to angle bod here aoc equals to bod their sides must be equal the angle aoc has the side ac and which is equal to bod here we will consider bd okay using distance formula we have to find the distance of ac and bd substitute equate both the answer in this equation we have to substitute using the distance formula the distance formula is using this distance formula under the root x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square we will find the distance ac and bd for the point ac to find the distance ac we have to consider the coordinate of point a and coordinate of point c as our x1 x2 and y1 y2 so to find the distance d we have the coordinate ac is equal to a has the coordinate 1 and 0 and c has cos of x plus y and sin of x plus y applying the distance formula we will get ac is equal to x2 minus x1 our x2 is here 1 and x1 is cos of x plus y so 1 minus cos of x plus y whole square plus y2 minus y1 y2 is 0 and minus y1 is it is sin of x plus y whole square sin of x plus y bracket square under the root we got the coordinates subtraction of the coordinates are 1 minus cos of x plus y as coordinates of ac and a and c we considered now squaring on both the side to cancel this root we have to square both the side squaring on both the side will get ac square is equal to here single ac is there after squaring on both side we'll get ac square equal to square and square root get cancelled in the rhs side so we'll get 1 minus cos of x plus y 1 minus cos of x plus y bracket square it is and plus here 0 minus sin of x plus y square will become only sin of sin square x plus y we can write this one as sin square x plus y now this is in the form a minus b whole square and you know the formula for a minus b whole square that is a minus b whole square can be written as a square plus 2ab a square plus b square minus 2ab will write a minus b whole square applying this formula here we will get applying the formula of a minus b whole square a square 1 square will become 1 plus b square in terms of b we have here cos of x plus y so it is cos square x plus y and minus 2 times a b minus 2 times a is 1 and b is cos of x plus y a minus b whole square is a square means 1 square and b square is cos of x plus y square minus 2 times ab minus 2 times a is 1 and b is cos of x plus y and here no need to apply the formula directly copy this term sin square x plus y sin square x plus y will write as it is the next step is 1 plus i will rearrange the term here nothing we have to do first i will take here sin square x plus y and next one cos plus it is positive cos square x plus y this term will shift last minus 2 ones are 2 cos of x plus y 2 cos of x plus y do you remember one identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 and the place of x or theta we have x plus y and x plus y so this term will become 1 here sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 
already 1 is there 1 and this term will become 1 1 plus 1 minus 2 time it is cos of x plus y minus 2 time cos of x plus y we got and this can be written as 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 time cos of x plus y consider this one as equation number 1 it is ac square the value of ac square we got similarly we want the value of bd now similarly to solve the bd that is the distance between this point b and d using the coordinate cos x sin x and d has the coordinate cos of minus y and sin of minus y we can write again applying same distance formula it is under the root x2 minus x1 square and here x2 is for the coordinate b and d cos x is x2 and cos of minus y is x1 substitute both the point we can write it is under the root cos of x minus cos of minus y minus y bracket square plus sin x and sin of minus y bracket square sin x minus sin y bracket square as x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square under the root we will write both the term and squaring on both the side here also we will square on both the side we will get bd square equal to bd square and root get cancelled here as the value of root is 1 by 2 and squaring 1 by 2 to get cancelled so simply we left with cos of x minus using the allied angle we can write cos of minus y is plus cos y so it will become cos of y bracket square plus the sin x as it is and here also we will apply the allied angle sin of minus y is minus sin y this minus this minus will become positive plus sin of y whole square allied angle we have to use here cos of minus y is plus cos y and sin of minus y is minus sin y this minus this minus will get positive now apply again a plus b and a minus b whole square formula it is in the form a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square bd square is equal to we'll write it is a minus b whole square form so expand this one the first term will be square first that is cos square x plus second term that is cos square y minus 2 time a b minus 2 time a b a square plus b square minus 2 time a b so 2 time a is cos x and b is cos y similarly here we'll apply a plus b whole square formula that is a square means sin square x b square is sin square y plus 2 time a b here 2 time sin x into sin y right a minus b whole square as a square b square minus 2 times a into b and a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2 times a into b we will write the next one is sin square x and cos square x we can take from com a common from both the side or we can write here cos square x cos square y sin square x sin square y can be written as sin square x plus cos square x together we'll write similarly for y also we have sin square y and plus cos square y minus 2 times cos x into cos y and 2 times sin x into sin y we left I will take 2 common from both the sides so it will become minus 2 times cos x cos y and sin x sin y cos x into cos y plus minus as we take common so this term will be also become negative sin x into sin y just rearranging the term sin square x plus cos square x sin square y plus cos square y and here from this two term we will take two common negative two as I am taking common so this term will become positive and this term will become negative the next step is again we have sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 sin square y plus cos square y equal to 1 1 plus 1 we can write here 2 minus 2 time it is cos x cos y minus 
sin x into sin y. The whole term, second term will keep as it is just we did sin square x plus cos square equal to 1 and sin square y plus cos square y is equal to 1. 1 plus 1 we got here 2. This is equation number 2. When we consider two triangle AOC and BOT both uh, BOD both are congruent AC equal to BD we said. Now equation 1 and 2 when we compare from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 we can write both AC square is equal to AC square is equal to BD square. Substitute both the values AC square is equal is equal to we got 2 minus 2 times cos of x plus y which is equal to the value of bd square is equal from equation number 2 it is 2 minus 2 times cos of x into cos of y minus sin x into sin y 2 minus 2 get cancelled both this side and we'll get cos x plus y is equal to cos x into cos y minus sin x into sin y. Cos x into cos y minus sin x into sin y. Hence, this is the proof.